cuties welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in today's video we are going to be doing a Chanel beauty haul yes I got my hands on some Chanel so if you want to see what I picked up keep on watching okay beauties so I am slowly finding an addiction to Chanel makeup my gosh I absolutely love Chanel's makeup and most of the products I have got is released already maybe one or two things I have could be new so this is gonna be a Chanel Tom Ford Marc Jacobs haul but mostly Chanel it's just like one pieces I have from Marc Jacobs and one piece I have from Tom Ford so without further ado we are going to get started this is the massive Chanel box it came in I have never gotten a Chanel box before. Anytime I order from Chanel, I always get this. I am gonna start off with the things that are Chanel first. I'm going to just unwrap it and we can get started. Rouge Coco Flash, this is in the shade 138 Feel. I personally don't own any Coco Flashes from Chanel, so this is the first. This is the packaging. This is simply how it comes. And if I'm right, I think it retails for about £31. Yeah. Oh, how luxe is this packaging though, guys? It's just absolutely stunning. And then you just have the Chanel logo on top. The colour actually peeps through. That is how much product that you get. So it is quite a bit. And I'll just give you guys a little bit of a swatch. Quite sheer. So it's not really that pigmented, but first of all, it does feel really soft. Definitely my kind of color. I absolutely love the packaging of this. I think Chanel do absolutely stunning packages. I think between Chanel and Tom Ford, I just think that they do the best luxe packaging for me. The next thing I'm going to be showing you First Chanel lip gloss. I don't own any Chanel lip glosses. Can you believe it? This is the Rouge Coco Gloss Moisturizing Glossomer 804 Rose Naif. Naif? I hope I'm saying that right. So the shelf life for this is 18 months. This is the packaging. I think it's so simple and I love the way that you can see the pigment because you can actually see how much product you get. Sometimes they'll cover the whole packaging and by the time you open the lip gloss, there's barely anything in it but i love the way that it's simple just natural and then you have the cc logo at the top i did actually plan to wear these two together because i think they would look stunning so that is the doe foot applicator that is definitely a different kind of shape of what i'm used to the dior one is really small so i can tell that that dior lip gloss wasn't actually made for full lips. I personally think it was made for people that have thinner lips. Fenty one, the applicator's thick. The Tom Ford one is thick. A couple of lip glosses that I do own. So it doesn't actually have a smell. So that's quite different. Most lip glosses I have, they actually have this kind of sweet scented smell, but the Chanel doesn't. So that is the color. It's literally a perfect match. That was literally my plan of what I was gonna do. I was gonna put on that first and then top it off with the lip gloss. So it definitely does feel thick and the pigment is there. I absolutely love the packaging of how Chanel does design their makeup and their lip glosses retail for about 28 pounds. So hmm, it is quite expensive, darling. This video is literally because of Erin. If you guys don't follow Erin, she is a beauty channel. She also does luxury makeup hauls, but specifically Chanel. If you are like me and you're growing your Chanel collection, or you are already a Chanel lover, she is your go-to girl. Mostly because of her of why I buy Chanel. Because if you have previously watched my videos, I don't buy any Chanel. But until I started watching this girl and the way she was talking about the Chanel, and because she actually used to manage a Chanel over where she lives, she is the reason why I've been buying so much Chanel. So I blame her. This is the second lip gloss I got. This is in the shade seven to eight this is rose pulp so this is a really nice like a pinky peachy shade it actually does have a bit of sparkles in it 
So it does actually have the same applicator. Again, there's no smell. And I did try to go with different lip glosses so they don't look the same. Because I think then it's just more or less a waste. So that is the second one. So they definitely, this one is just a little bit more of a deeper pink than this. Not too sure if you guys can tell. The texture feels really nice. I can definitely see the sparkles in this one. So glad I picked this one up. This Chanel collection is growing, guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, do make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I think I got one more lip gloss to show you. This is our final lip gloss, guys. Don't even worry. So this is the second one. Could we just take a minute to admire the packaging? Isn't the packaging just absolutely stunning? It's so simple, literally so simple. Now, I am not actually familiar with Chanel's lip glosses. So if these are literally gonna be a first impressions when I do do a trying on new makeup, because I have got a video coming up, trying new makeup that is gonna be filmed soon. It's shade. Again, it does have the same dog foot applicator it is slightly slanted just there and then the back is straight so this is perfect and this is just a little bit more deeper it's more of a rosy kind of color not too sure if i told you guys the color but this is in the shade popetta 794 so that again is the shade so yeah you can definitely see with the three lip glosses that there is a difference because that was mostly of what I wanted to go for I didn't want to get literally the same things it's always good to get a variety but I am definitely happy with the colors that I have the shine oh my gosh the shine is crazy guys I got my hands on a loose powder now it was actually quite difficult for me to pick the correct shade of powder because i was specifically looking for a yellow powder you guys know i use yellow powders or unless i'm doing more of a kind of natural beat i'll use like a face powder that is more or less the same color as my skin tone so i think this is going to be able to work for me and this is the powder universal libre fini natural natural finish loose powder this is in the shade 30 and this weighs 30 grams now i was actually having a look at this powder and this powder is massive compared to my other powders and the shelf life for this is 18 months it's absolutely big if i compare this to my fenty you guys can see and this is 30 grams the fenty is 28 grams yeah you get more in this than this but there is just a complete different i have always wanted to try the chanel powder and i managed to get my hands on this one and i got this in the shade 30 yeah it was literally kind of difficult for me to pick the powder because as i was telling you guys um you guys know the kind of shade i normally go for but i'm hoping i can make this one work this is more of a peachy kind of color and i was really looking for yellow but they don't really do yellow powders most of their powders are more or less on the pink side or if not there, they do have brown powders there as well. I didn't specifically want a brown powder because I have my Fenty. I'll be able to make this work. It definitely is on the peachy side, leaning more towards yellow. So that would be good. At least I'll be able to use something like that underneath my eyes for when I am definitely looking for that bright underglow highlight. You get this massive poof that comes with it it's absolutely massive it costs 40 pounds so this is gonna have to work if not it will be a waste but something tells me i will definitely be able to make that powder work I actually have always secretly wanted to try this powder as well with things that did come in the chanel you do get to pick a perfume and now you actually get to pick a lip product and they sent me the rouge coco blush in the shade what shade is this 92 or more at the shade timeless timeless is like a deep raspberry color i'm not too sure if i'm gonna get it but i did see a couple other youtubers pick up that shade and i was like oh, don't tell me i've got to go out and get it because it looks absolutely stunning I actually picked up two of the mademoiselle because i actually do like this perfume but i am not 
gonna purchase it in full because I have my signature perfume I wear my Dior absolutely blooming EDP so I'm not really in the hunt personally looking for a new perfume but I'll take samplers obviously I'm not gonna say no so I managed to get two of these which are perfect you know travel size if I'm going out to dinner or something I'll be able to pop something like that in my bag we have a lip gloss this is by Tom Ford this is my second lip gloss from Tom Ford I actually have the first one and that was in my rose insolent palette I was actually talking about the eyeshadow palette but I just thought I'd help myself on to a lip gloss and I absolutely fell in love with the lip gloss so I picked up another one Tom Ford lip gloss retails for 38 pounds it is definitely expensive so I got another pink one this is in the shade wicked the packaging is just so luxe I don't think I'm gonna get another Tom Ford lip gloss though because it's just mostly those two colors that I did have my eye on it literally smells like strawberry syrup yeah it smells so sweet it's crazy that is the applicator let me give you guys a swatch as well pink shades so yeah you guys can tell all different shades of pink that is what I like to go for and you know sometimes you can actually look at things online and you're looking at the shades and you're like hmm is it gonna be that color when it arrives these are definitely the colors that I picked online and they arrived the same color in person so definitely happy with the shades that I got that's just the powder guys don't worry about that but you know, you guys can tell they're all different shades I don't mind scented lip glosses if you are somebody that maybe doesn't like scented lip glosses you'll need to stay away from these I finally managed to pick this up original price is 40 pounds this is 19 pounds and because when I purchased this under Tom Ford I actually purchased those two from Harvey Nichols and they're actually having a 10% discount so everything actually came up to about 67 pounds I paid about 56 so I have seen people do reviews on this highlighter but I cannot see the color properly or I have seen people do it and they are nowhere near my skin tone so I am so glad I finally got my hands on this highlighter I absolutely love this this was part of their Christmas edition very merry cherry how stunning is this guys it's like oh it's stunning I did actually swatch this this morning because I'm like don't tell me I've just wasted money and it's not gonna work but guys the color on this it's absolutely stunning there we go there we go so this is the highlighter I don't know if you guys can tell but there is a pink shift you guys see that I didn't even know that and all of the YouTube videos that I have seen they didn't even talk about the pink shift but mostly gold kind of reminds me of the Natasha Denona but yeah that is the Omega highlight oh I've always wanted to get my hands on this highlight you guys don't understand and now I have I am definitely going to be doing another trying on new makeup haul with mostly some of these and some other things but I'm definitely going to be trying out some couple things that I have purchased so yes beauties that is my makeup and luxury haul let me know did I tempt you to get something do make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys again soon.